Hello everybody, my name is Dragon Pokemon, and today I will be doing a Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke. The rules for a Nuzlocke are pretty simple. If a Pokemon faints in battle, it dies. You have to name your Pokemon to gain a sentimental attachment to them, and if when they die, it hurts more. One encounter per route, unless it is an static encounter. Well, uh, unless the encounter is static or it's force, then that doesn't count for the encounter in the route. Then, gift Pokemon are counted as encounters for certain areas, depending on where you get them, like, let's say the Eevee in uh, Goldenrod after you go to Ecarty, go to the Pokemon Center, and, you know, go back to Bill when he goes back to Goldenrod. So I hope you enjoy the journey that this entire Nuzlocke is, that it has its ups, has its downs, and it is downright amazing. I hope you enjoy. Let's get started on my Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke. Our adventure starts I embarrassing mess up on naming myself before we return to the, into the Pokemon world as we talk to our mom and get our things before we head out into, to go to Professor Realm's lab. And after a monologue, so I'm able to get my starter Pokemon and I picked Totodile and named it Invincible because it was going to be Invincible and this isn't foreshadowing at all. We then get the Poke Gear from our mom and head on over to Cherry Grove City and get the running shoes from the old man and we then make it over to Mr. Pokemon and get Mysterious Egg for getting the Pokedex from the Oak. And after we walk out of the place and try to go back to his lab after he told us that he was robbed, we were stopped by a red-haired kid who battles us, but we destroyed him and his Pokemon for getting back to his lab and naming our rival Silver. Afterward, Lyra shows us how to catch Pokemon and she gives us a poke while starting the Nuzlocke. Right after we get our first poke, that. Right after we get our first Pokemon encounter, what with being a Pidgey, we catch it. We catch it quickly, naming it Bird. We then go to Route 46 and catch a Spearow and name it Bird. Soon enough, we get into our first battle with Young Sidrilli before we wipe them. And after we battle a bit more trainers, and catches you by a Dark Cave, naming it Batty. And after a bit more running, we arrive in Violet City before running to Route 32 and catching a Bell Sprout, naming it Leaf, and heading to Sprout Tower and getting a scare before catching a rat named Rat. A bit while later, I boxed Batty and Rat as I talked to Primo and got all three eggs, and after battling everyone in the Sprout Tower and nearly losing Leaf in the process. Afterward, I decided to run back and forth until all three eggs hatched, and in the meantime, getting Rock Smash. Before long, all the eggs hatched being Marie naming it Fluffy, Whooper named Whoop Whoop, and a Slugma named Lava. After a bit of grinding to level everyone up, we fought the first gym trainers with Fluffy before continuing to grind up Fluffy to level 13 and battling Faulkner and easily beating and getting the Zephyr Badge. On our way to Union Cave, we get the Miracle Seed from an old man, and a bit after that, Fluffy evolves into a Flappy. And we then start grinding Whoop Whoop while going through Union Cave. We catch a Sand True, naming it Sandy. And after being the trainers in Union Cave and making it to Azalea Town and going to the Yellow Forest to catch a Caterpie, named, naming it Wormy, before going back to Route 33 and catching a Hoppip, naming it Pip. We next go to the Slowpoke well and caught a Slowpoke, naming it Pokey, and after dealing with Team Rock in the well, I accidentally got into another fight with Silver, but we came out on top and unscathed from it, and a bit later I went into Bugsy's gym and fought the first two trainers. I then decided to grind everyone up, but only choosing to evolve Bird into a Pidgeotto, and Eventful into a Croconaw. I then did the Alex Forest puzzle early, and then I jumped back into Bugsy's gym and went to battle Bugsy. The battle starts as Bugsy sends out his Ace Scyther as I send out Bird. Scyther uses Focus Energy as Bird uses Gust to deal about a quarter. Knock another Gust to get Scyther low enough to pop a Citrus Berry, healing him as I go for another Gust, and get him into kill range before Bugsy heals Scyther with a full Super Potion. After Bird quick attacks him, he hits Bird back with his own quick attack, putting Bird down to 2 HP. Bird then hits Scyther to half as I heal up Bird with a Super Potion. In the next two turns, Scyther hits two quick attacks, bringing Bird down to 12 as I hit Scyther into the red. Then I make a questionably bad choice to not heal and try to win the speed tie, but fail as Scyther hits his quick attack before Bird can, killing Bird and marking the first death in the Nuzlocke. The lava comes out and takes a quick attack before finally killing the Scyther and defeating the rest of his team, gaining the high fetch. After boxing Bird into the dead box and teaching Cut's Leaf, we go to Ilex Forest and make it to Route 34 and defeat a few more trainers on the route before making it to Goldenrod City. I then went to get the bicycle before get it before going to get Kenya, not noticing it was Stoops Claws, but let's not talk about that. After I go back to Route 34, I encounter a drowsy and named it Sleepy. A bit later while going up Route 35, Whoop Whoop evolved into a Quagsire, 
And a bit later on Route 35, I caught a Nidoran male naming it King before cutting out a tree and cutting into Route 36 before catching a Nidoran female named it Queen. After a bit, I went up to the National Park and catching a Metapod named Not Fodder, which shows up to help us later down the road. After grinding a bit more to evolve Leap into a Weeping Bell, I Bruh. went to go and take on the gym leader Whitney. The fight begins as Whitney sends out Clefairy as I send out Kenya, and immediately go for an alias knocking down Clefairy's health by two thirds. As Clefairy goes for a double slap, it only hits three times and it only does nine damage. The next turn I used Pursuit and killed Clefairy as Whitney sends out Miltake as an aerial ace that only did about one fifth of its health, as it crits with Stomp bringing Kenya to near red, before I healed Kenya with Super Potion. This reminded me that I didn't have that many Super Potions, so I had to play my cards right. Miltake hints Kenya with another Stomp, taking out a third of Kenya's health as Kenya takes Miltake down to half. After switching out a bit and dealing with some immobilization crap, we finally beat Whitney and her Miltake getting the plane badge. And moving on over to Ecritique City. We get served from the guy in the theater before going over to Route 42 and getting strength from another guy and teaching it to both Fluffy and Invincible. A bit later I caught a Magnemite naming it Pole. Afterward I headed to Burn Tower and progressed the story, beating Silver again, and right after I went to the gym, quickly beating Monty with an Invincible with Bite and only having to swap out due to hypnosis. Afterward I went back to Route 42, grinding up a Goldeen to Sea Kings where Fluffy involved in the Ampharos and grinding up Invincible in Mount Mortar so that he involved, so he involved, blah, evolves into for Alligator. After grinding on some trainers on Route 58, I went back to Route 42 and grinded up even more to level up Leaf, making a quick detour to go to Mahogany Town, and going up to Link of Rage to catch... I mean kill the shiny Gyarados for the red scale. After that I made my way to Olivine City and immediately going up the lighthouse, only to be told to go to Cyanwood to get medicine for Jasmine's Ampharos. Once I made it to Cyanwood City, I got the medicine and beat the gym trainers and the guy named Usuin before going to battle the gym leader Chuck and beating him with slight ease because Kenya was just throwing hands and getting the storm badge. Right after his wife gives us fly, we fly to Cherry Grove and back to Mr. Pokemon and get the EXP share and slapping it onto lava. After that I went back to Cyanwood and fished for a Magikarp and it Snake. After a bit of grinding again, I decided to go fight Jasmine after giving her Ampharos medicine. I was overconfident and my hubris cost me dearly. Did, did you go out with the Pokemon first? Stop! Just like that, Lava was dead. I may have had no reaction, but trust me, I was mad. Whoop whoop wiped the rest of her team as I gained the mineral badge. And after putting the lava into the box, I made my way back to Goldenrod and got the gift Eevee from Bill, naming it V, for the EXP share on it, and started the Team Rocket Shenanigans in Mahogany Town. After demol demolishing Petrol, I followed the Murkrow to open and opened up the door where they were hot. Holding the electrodes, but then Ariana and a random grunt picked a fight with me, but Lance came to my aid and just like petrol, we demolished them and fainted all the electrodes. Sorry for the setup change, I was out of town and had no internet or correct setup, so I had to improvise. I went to the Safari Zone and got a Geodude, and a bit later I decided to go on the gym in Mahogany Town, but, but before I decided to grind up Eevee. After a bit of grinding, V evolved into an Umbreon, and after a bit more grinding and doing other things, I decided to finally go fight Price, and thanks to Fluffy and Whoop Whoop, it was a clean sweep, gaining us the Glacier Badge. After beating Price, I went back to Goldenrod and began to deal with Team Rocket before fighting Silver again and destroying him. As I blazed through Team Rocket, I had to go fight Ariana again, but she was easy, and soon enough I began to fight Archer, but he was easy, besides Whoop Whoop getting poisoned. He went down and the director gave me the Rainbow Wing, I went back to Mahogany Town and went east to Route 44, and fought the trainers on the route, and I soon made it to Ice Path, caught a Swine Nub naming Nubs, getting the HM Waterfall, and a while later I made it to Blackthorn, Blackthorn City, but after that I began to grind on my team and leave with the EXP share. I was still grinding, and before long, I entered the Dark Cave, south of Blackhorn City, and something was bound to happen. Invincible died to a counter from the Lava Fed. This hurt. This hurt hard. With a heavy heart, I put Invincible into the box and brought in Nubs to Swine Up. But this wouldn't be the end of the tragedy.
Just like that, Leaf was dead as well. Two hard-hitting and great teammates, dead within 30 minutes. As I boxed Leaf, I thought of a plan for battling and winning against Claire. I brought along Not Fodder onto the team for a strategic play into the fight. After a bit of grinding, Nubs evolved into Pillow Swan, and all I did for the rest of the footage was grind up the team for the battle. So after grinding a bit more, I got everyone up to level 44, except for Nubs level 41 and Not Fodder at level 10, and I was ready for the battle. The battle starts as she sends out her Gyarados, as I send out Fluffy, and after her Gyarados goes for a Dragon Rage, which only does 40 HP, before it gets destroyed by a single discharge from Fluffy, before she sends out her first Dragonair, which will then swap Fluffy out into a Whoop Whoop, which only takes 40 damage from a Dragon Pulse, before Whoop Whoop hits Dragonair with an Earthquake, which just barely doesn't kill, but the next one does even after she heals. Her next Pokemon is Kingdra, which I then swap out in Not Fodder to take a Hydro Pump and falls, but it was all according to my plan for the battle, as it allows me to swap into Fluffy, who two shots her Kingdra, as Claire sends out her final Pokemon, her second Dragonair. Who who am I kidding? It gets one shot by Woo Woo with an Earthquake, which wins us the battle, but Claire isn't giving us the badge, so we go to the Dragon's Den and talk to the Elder, and we answer his questions before we force Claire to give us the Rising Badge. We go back to Claire's gym and talk to her, and after that, we go back to the Elder. He gives us a Dratini with extreme speed that I name Lanky. After that, we go back to New Bark Town to get a Master Ball from Elm before going back to Ecroteague, battling all the Kimono Girls in the, in the theater. Then they give us the Clear Bell, with the, and with those two items, we can go up the Bell Tower, summon Ho-Ho, and quickly Master Balling it due to it nearly dealing half to Whoop Whoop, which we then name Ho-Ho Firebird 2. I then go back to New Bark Town as we go left to Route 27, taking our first steps into Kanto. After that, I go to Toho Falls and teach Link Waterfall, and a bit later, we reach Victory Road, as I catch a Dawn fan naming it Dawn. As we make it to the end of Victory Road, we have our last battle with Silver, and after we beat him, Link evolves into a Dragonair, and the rest of the footage is just me grinding. Most of the footage in this one is mostly grinding, but there are some key moments like Nubs evolving into a Mamoswine, Link into a Dragonite, and encountering a full of shiny Onyx, which was cool. I, um... After doing the last second check of my team, I went to the 4, and first up is Whip. STOP! YOU VIOLATED THE- Next was Koka, who was easy. Oh. Well then, whoop whoop, Fluffy. Make him pay. After Koka comes Bruno, who gets completely destroyed by Lanky, and the next and final member of the Elite Four is Karen. Everything is going smoothly, but out comes her Gengar, and I swap out into V, where he takes a Focus Blast for a chunk before I risk it and get hit with another Focus Blast, killing V. After that, I send out Fluffy, who hits Gengar with a Discharge, bringing it to red, only for it to heal as Fluffy hits it with another Discharge. But as I go for a final Discharge, Gengar gets off a Destiny Bond, taking Fluffy with it. I was angry, but I couldn't let my anger get the best of me as I walked into the final room of the league, having to fight Lance, the champion, with only half of a team. I'm going to just let the rest of the footage play out for you to see. I shall not die. Stop dodging! Rip. No, no. 
no, 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 no. Damn it! What can I do here? Round as shit against. I have to just keep going. I don't. A lot of blizzards already. Water. What the fuck is muddy water? I need to move. Sorry, Blizzard. We have an issue. Actually, no, we don't. I can, I can heal. Right now. That's an explosion. I'm gonna try and get. Oh, thank God! <laughs> what does Muddy Water do? How much damage? Not much. Shit. Oh my god! That is a water effect. I'm gonna use a move. Oh my god, yo, quick clock came in clutch! Ah, uh, fuck. You know, you're, you're, the, you're the second dragon. Right? You have Thunder Wave, Dragon Rush, Blizzard, Hyper Beam. Same one as the last one, except. Fuck. 
No, I'm dead. Oh, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh no, though. It's a dragon flying type. I'm gonna use Ice Shard. No way, did we just make it alive? It's not effective, not effective. Yeah, 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 you better, you better start spamming. No, no, I can't get comfortable. How many fall do you have? How many? Okay, we won. Oh my god, we won. Oh my god. Nubs, the MP, the MVP. We did it! And just like that, we have become the champion. But as you know with Johto games, we have a whole nother region to go through, so let's jump right into it. After getting the SS ticket from Elm and getting onto the SS and before adding Pole, Magnemite, Firebird 2, and the Togepi Egg into the team. After doing the story on the boat, we make it to Vermilion City, and as I'm exploring and looking at new areas in Kanto, the egg hatches into Togepi, which I name Egg, as Pole evolves into a Magneton. A bit later I went into Pokathalion Poca Dome before trying to get points for a stone. But let's, let's not talk about that. I'm just grinding this footage, so to save time, I'm not going to talk about it. All of this recording is just me grinding the Pokathalion Dome to get a shiny stone, which I got. Most of the footage, once again, is me grinding, so I'm not going to include that because of my sanity, but something I will include is Egg evolving into Togetic, and then immediately into a Togekiss Kiss before going to battle the Vermilion Gym Leader, Lieutenant Surge, who gets murdered by Whoop Whoop, getting us the Thunder Badge, which right after we fly on over to Saffron City. This bit of footage is mostly grinding once more, and just exploring around Kanto, so I'm gonna skip over it. Also, sorry if there's a lot of skipping. Is this, this game is a grind fest. In Route 7, I caught a Growlers naming it Doggo before spending about 30 minutes to get a Firestone for it and replacing Firebird 2 for Doggo. Grinding him up to level 48 to get him Flare Blitz before using the Firestone to get him to evolve into an Arcanine before doing some more grinding. I decided to go fight Sabrina, which my hubris once more cost me dearly. Lanky dies to a crit psychic, which made me disappoint myself as I should have played around the crit. Egg cleans up along a marsh badge, and a bit later I went and woke up the sleeping Snorlax before catching him, naming it Eepy. And just as I thought I would be able to go the rest of the session without another death, an unlucky play cost me. Bro, today is not my fucking day. No way. No way. No. no. Outsped and killed Wooboop Falls. Two strong teammates down and out in one session. We go back to Mahogany Town and go up to Route 44, fishing up a Poliwag and evolving into Poliwhirl, and put it on the team briefly. I swap out Ho. -Oh the snake the magic carp and quickly evolves into a Gyarados, which I then try and get a lucky egg, but failing as I grinded up snake before deciding to deal with the gym trainers in Erica's gym until I stopped for the day. This bit of footage once again is just exploring so I won't bore you guys with it. A bit later, after going back to Route 14 to find a Chansey, which I did, and even with the lowest chance of finding a lucky egg, okay, I need the egg. I got one. The Lucky Egg would help me grind way, way, way faster in this Nuzlocke. After this, I did a bit of grinding, and then I went to go battle Erica, which Doggo burned through her entire team, allowing us to get the Rainbow Badge. 
the rest of the footage with me grinding and preparing for an encounter I wanted on Mount Silver. After doing even more grinding, I went to the Seafoam Islands and tried to catch Articuno, but I ran out of Ultra Balls so I had to kill it. Later I went back to Cerulean City and went to go battle Misty, which went slimmingly, allowing me to get the Cascade Badge. After doing some more grinding, I went to Fuchsia City to battle Jani, which with Egg and his Psychic, we sweeped her team getting the Soul Badge. After that, I went to Pewter City and went to battle Brock. The battle goes smoothly, but I get a close call with the EP as he nearly gets killed. Ah. <laughs> oh, that was so close! Oh my god, okay. Go take this badge. Once more, I grinded a bit before going back to the Seafoam Islands to go battle Blaine, and after wiping the floor of him, it gives us the Volcano Badge. After that, I went to Viridian City before realizing how unprepared I was to battle Blue since one of his gym trainers hurt like hell. I grinded everyone up to level 65 while Nubs was at level 70, and the battle began as I went for an Ice Shard with Nubs, but it just barely doesn't kill as his executor hits Nubs with a Leaf Storm. And despite Nubs having it a level advantage, it one-shots Nubs, killing the final member to make it past the Elite Four and League. As the rest of the battle, I beat Blue in revenge for Nubs, as I got the Earth Badge. And with that, I'd gotten all the Gym Badges. The only other thing to do was prepare for the fight with Red. I put Dawn the Dawn fan onto the team, replacing Nubs for a ground type as I spent the rest of the session grinding. Most of the footage in these next few sessions is just me grinding, but in the meantime between that I caught Mewtwo naming it Psychic Cat before boxing it away. I did the last bit of grinding to level everyone up to level 88 except for Egg who I leveled up to level 90, as I got the last few items I needed for the battle. After climbing up Mount Silver, I got to Red. Very afraid. I think I kill, because I have soft sand, I have stab, and I'm ground. Yeah! Okay, who's next? Is it Venusaur? If it's Venusaur, then I can... Lapras, alright. Ooh, but a Bryant, no, a Psychic could kill me. But I could also kill it. gonna live. Yeah, okay. I get another free hit. And now I'm gonna heal. I was gonna I was gonna go for a I was gonna go for a um damn it. A uh Thunder, but it would have been too risky and I could have died. Charizard, ooh. I, w I won't kill. With uh, with pole due to it being only a second evolution, and I can't get Magazone at all. Yeah, ha ha. All right, water fall it. You have Mystic Water. You're two times effective. Stab. Live. I'm like two. Nope, one shot. Oh, oh. Three out of three. Three out of three. Three out of six. Venusaur. Shit. Sludge bomb. Good drink. One second. R nine. There we go. Gen four. Tip by poison for the normal.
Alright. Working on you're coming out. I knew it. Okay, what other moves do you have, my friend? Such long giga drain seat, powder frenzy plant. If I risk this, I die. So I'm not going to. Feel like a crit, but it wasn't. Maybe if I stop, okay, how much BB is Sludge Bomb? 10. It's just gonna keep going for that until it runs out. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stall this out. Shit. Again, whack buck here. I think I can live, and I'm also think I'm faster. I am better. <laughs> I stole it out until I got hurt by hail enough. Okay, the Blastoise or Snorlax. Blastoise. Blizzard Focus Blast. Isn't that steel? No, it's fight. What is steel weak to? What is steel? Shit. Oh no! It's a kill with, um, Hydro Cannon. Because I. If, isn't Hydro Cannon. Water. Risking it. <sighs> Fuck, I'm sorry. What? Okay, it's gonna go for Focus Blast, meaning that Egg would be our best bet. No, it'd go for Blizzard, okay. Blizzard only has 5 PP, so I can sell this out with 5 Polar Swiss. Unless I get crit, which is probably gonna happen. Or I can risk it. No, 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 that's stupid, stupid. Wait, no. I think I outspeed, but I'm afraid of not doing enough damage. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do another turn of Stalin. Alright, we're, we're within kill range. Yes, okay. Oh, fuck me. Shadow Ball, Crunch, Blizzard, Giga Impact. That's it. And Shadow Ball. We're gonna we're gonna waste out his five PP Blizzard.
We're gonna go for one more four sword. Crunch, okay. I'm leaving. Ah! How much damage? Alright, Snowlocks has to chill for a second. Ah, fuck, no! Then just lay on the hurt. It's time to lay on the hurt. Oh. I'm gonna. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to selling. He has two more full restores, so. This fight could last for a while. I think I can live a hit. Crit, please. Don't leave him red. No. Only the blizzard kill. Wait, wait. Oh my god, it was right there! No! Alright, come on, egg. 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 Egg! That one seal. Come on, dude, do it with the seal! Oh my god, we did it. I'm I'm free. I I'm done! I did it! Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god, I did it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm so happy! <laughs> we only lost Pole, and I'm sad that he had to go, but it's what had to be done. He was our sacrifice. We will not have died in vain. And just like that, I had beaten a Nuzlocke of Pokemon Heart Gold. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a really big passion project that has taken a long time to complete. So, I hope you all enjoyed. And if you could please like and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching. Dragon Lukemon, out.